How you doing everyone? My name is Ron Augustini of FrontRowPreps.com, powered by American Sports Construction, and we are here again on the grounds of American Chevrolet on McHenry Avenue in Modesto, California, standing in front of a great coffee and lunch place, American Grind. And uh, we are here to honor our weekly American Chevrolet Athlete of the Week. And it happens to be this, this accomplished young man here, Waterford Senior Aaron Adams is our Athlete of the Week. Congratulations, Aaron. Thank well, you. Well done, man. Thank you. To his right is uh, David Howerson, Operations Manager of American Chevrolet, with us again. My pleasure, as always. This guy has had a great year as his Waterford team. They have made some history this year, folks. Waterford won their first ever Southern League Championship. Defeated Somerville last week in a rematch, 48-25, uh, uh, to advance to the Division VI quarterfinals. They'll play Livingston Friday night. He only accounted for six touchdowns last week against Somerville. He passed for 174 yards, three touchdowns, rushed for 93, three more touchdowns, and, and his team rolled. Actually, the game was a little more uh, lopsided than the score, Aaron. I feel like us as a team, we dominated the game, but we could we could have always done better. We could always do better. So. The rematch but, wasn't as close as the first match, and you've had a, a, an outstanding season, Aaron. Thank You're, you. Uh, if, if things go, uh, uh, go well Friday night, you're going to pass 2,000 yards in passing and 1,000 yards in rushing. Yeah. Talk about the success you've had this year. A lot of it, the rushing and the passing both, honestly, is our line. When I'm sitting in the pocket, I got like five seconds every play. And Makes then it easier. Yeah. And then our holes just opened up with me, Ryan, and Caleb in the backfield, how we're running. Mm -hmm. They don't know who's going to run the ball, and we all successfully when we run it. We, I think all of us are over five. Uh, when we get the ball, we all average over five yards to carry, so you don't know. And then our passing game, we have Hobby, Matt, Jose, everything's working out good, so that's... What, what a year. Yeah. I mean, the Waterford High is 20 years old. This is your first Southern League title. The, the Waterford Wildcats are coached by Adam Hilton, who uh, uh, served as the offensive coordinator before he became the head coach three years ago. And... Uh, They've had a pretty good run up to, to this championship. And, and now, uh, and, and Adam has two sons, Caleb and Ryan, playing for this Waterford team. This is quite a group of kids you have. You've kind of grown up together, haven't you? Yeah, we've grown up since we were like seven years old and we've been playing football. I think this is our 10th year together as like a group. And we've gotten a few kids from like other places, like our number one receiver. Uh, he started his freshman year and he's at a, over a thousand yards too, so he's falling out too. What a, uh, what a season you guys have had mm -hmm. and uh, congratulations to you. I, I know it's a, an exciting time for the school. You have a big game coming up Friday yeah. night. I think this is probably our biggest game that we've ever had as a group of individuals together. So, And I think our team is going to, I think we're going to come victorious. So. Well, we wish you the best. Uh, for winning the Athlete of the Week honor. He gets a coveted front row t-shirt from David Halverson. Take it away, David. On behalf of American Chevrolet Front Row Preps, we are honored to give you your Front Row Preps Athlete of the Week t-shirt. Very special swag right here. Not many guys get this, Thank so you. you've had an outstanding season. Thank you. you stood out above yeah. the rest, so congratulations <laughs> on a Thank great, you. great season, Aaron. We wish you the Thank best. You, congratulations. Thank you. Well Aaron, done, Aaron. Aaron. Thank you. And the Waterford Wildcats, uh, and we will see you next week as we continue in the Sackwalking section play.